Hi and welcome to Middle Aged Geek Girl's latest YouTube video. I'm Sally, the Middle Aged Geek Girl in the title. So this video is about a chip tasting of five new flavours of chips that are out on the market in Australia. Um, originally this intro was videoed because I do have a special guest included in this video. However, the SD card it was uh, recorded on basically blew up and everything we filmed for the first 10 minutes was lost. So I'm doing this voiceover as an introduction because I just was not in the mood to reset up and re-record the entire thing again. So this video, as I said, is about chip tasting and I have a special guest with me today who is Terry from Terry Frost's YouTube channel and two podcasts of which are Paleo Cinema and Martian Drive-In both movie based podcasts and the other fact he is also my husband so thanks Terry for joining me in this video that's the intro uh, it was a lot more elaborate when it was done in on video but as I said I wasn't going back and restarting it so we'll move on to the video portion now where we're starting with the first chip tasting and it is Mac and Cheese by Smith's Okay, so the first thing is a smell test. So to me they smell a bit just like potato with maybe a tiny bit of cheese. It smells a little bit like the old cheese and onion chips that they used to have. They still have them around some places. Mm -hmm. But it's not a very kind of forthright smell really, is it? Mm, no, it's not overbearing. Okay, Chip, go for it. <laughs> You're scared. She's scared. More like sour cream and chive. <laughs> mm. It's not. It's a very bland chip. It is commercial television bland. Yeah, there's no nuance to the flavour at all. It's not uh, Ice Mr. Smith's, but. And um, by the way, we're not affiliated or, or doing a yeah, paid not... promotion here. This is just us. No, but if they want to send us bags and bags of chips, really happy to take them. Plain and... or salt and vinegar, please. Yeah, but plain would be better. And it's all salt and vinegar. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's not... To me, it tastes more like sour cream and chive if you had that flavour. There's not a mac and cheese taste to it at all. You can taste like a fake cheddar taste. Yeah. But the mac part's missing. <laughs> well, the thing is they're doing ads now suggesting that you crumble these up and roll things, batter, batter things with it. So basically crunch the chips up, put some put them in an egg wash and then batter them using these chips. That, which, that yeah, would work. Yeah, but it shows that they don't mm. have too much faith in the chips themselves. Mm. So they're trying to spin it to use them as mm. panko breadcrumb chips. Yes. Yes. Well, they, um, I mean, they, they proudly say it's a mac and cheese mm. image there. Um, but yeah, no, it's... No. 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 So, um, I mean, I'll eat them. I'm I'll give gonna... that a three. Yeah, probably, yeah, two, 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 two and a half, three. I mean, I'll eat them. Is this out of five or out of ten? Oh, ten? Yeah, about a three out of ten. <laughs> I was going to get 1.5 if it was out of five, but yeah. No, it's, it's out of ten. Um, yeah, it's really bland. Yeah, I'll eat them because they're chips, <laughs> but I wouldn't buy them again. No, they're not. They're definitely not on the yeah. shopping list. No. So, so that was them. Now, I think I uh, cleanse the palate. Cleansing palates. Cheers. By the way, it is water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's going to get very, very rowdy if it's not. Absolutely. So yes. next we'll go to a packet that Terry chose, which is posh because he's got posh taste. That's one with her. <laughs> yes. So this one is the Kettle Sensations Sriracha Chili and Wild Lime. Now I'm absolutely convinced Terry bought this because I hate all things spicy. Well, I'm, I'm getting better at spice, but I'm still on pussy stage with spice. No, she's getting, she's getting a lot better with spice. She'll do a curry laksa and things like that. 
Uh, she has had ghost chili at one stage, mm. and basically didn't her head didn't explode in any way at all. Yeah, but after the curry likes her, I complained for three hours afterwards. But you love complaining. I'm, <laughs> I'm opening. Yeah. I am opening it. I'm opening, I'm opening and sniffing first. This is my sniff. They smell a bit better. <laughs> smell a bit better? Yeah, well, there's a little bit of Ooh. a punch and a tang to them, isn't there? You can smell the citrus. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so the citrus will cut mm. down on the chili flavour. And these are a, actually smell a really kettle nice. chip, so they're a little bit crunchier and a little bit chunkier than the Smith. I'm going to have two. I'm optimistic <laughs> I'm having two at one go. Okay. Go for it. Mmm. Can I have one now? You go on. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's more in the back taste. Ooh. I mean, at the start, it burn. At the start, <laughs> it's a little bit bland. But then, yeah, you kind of roll it around your mouth. You get the citrus first, and then you get a nice bit of a sriracha. It tastes a little more like generic chili rather than specifically a sriracha kind mm. of flavour. But I don't mind those. I would eat a few of those. Bit yeah, way. I agree with you. It was just the potato chip. And then yeah. you got a really powerful lime. Yeah. And then I got the Benny Tongue. So one's enough mm. for me. Yeah, compared to the mac and cheese. <laughs> the mac and cheese yeah, was yeah. a bachelor and spinster's ball. This one's like a Mexican party. But that's because they're posh. They're Again, not. we're not endorsed by Kettle or anybody else for these, but if Kettle wants to send us some free chips, we won't say no. Yes, and I prefer Kettle chips actually to Smith's. Again, plain or salt and vinegar. Yep. <laughs> or if you've got some more flavours, we will review flavours. Yeah, we will review flavours. If any flavors. chip company wants to send us <laughs> chips, we will review them. We're going to be a total tired about this. Or I'll, if any company wants us to review anything. Yeah, any, any food stuff, as long as it's not pumpkin, Zucchini or squash. Awful. We will have a go at it. I won't do awful either. I'll do awful. I won't do awful. I'll do awful. Send awful. <laughs> so that's right. so I think Terry's got a packet of chips for me. <laughs> Yay! That's one for me. I'm gonna do another posh packet uh, for of Terry's choice and this time because this one appeals to my taste buds. Oh, we should cleanse the palate first. Cleansing cleanse palate. palate. Cheers. <sighs> yeah, much better. And it's not spicy, it's camembert and fig, or camembert, no, no, it's really mm. camembert, and fig. I'm not sure how you get a fruit into a chip, but they're going to get it through go. So let's go, okay. Yeah. Well, you got lime into that chip, that's a fruit. Yeah, but it's a citrus. Mm. Oh. Big whiff and they smell of chip. <laughs> There's no smell to them what's it like just potato chip to me. Yeah, it's like chips and chemicals. Yeah, I think these are gonna be very mild. They don't taste at all of cheese. They don't smell at all of cheese. No, sorry. or fig. I don't know what a fig, fig smells like. I don't know anything of actually et a fig. I'm gonna to have to get some figs. Mm. If all you right. wanna see a fig tasting, put it in the comments. <laughs> or fruit taste, a weird fruit tasting. Mmm. You can taste it. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me have a go. Mm. Then we'll These have out. a sweet taste. I like them. They have something vaguely like cheese in them. It must be the fig then I was tasting because it's more. I like them. I'm having another one. It was more sweet to me. I don't get the fig. I just get a kind of blandy. You don't get a sweetness? I do get a slight sweetness about them. Um, but it's a bit hard. If you were doing a blind tasting of these, mm. you wouldn't pick it as fig. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I agree with you there. Yeah. But there is a sweetness that I think there is, is a, a meant sweet, to be the a sweetness is a bit of an aftertaste on it. Mm. You do get the kind of mild, vaguely cheese thing. Mm -hmm. But it's not really reminiscent of camembert and fig to me. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can I think, see that. I agree with you there. It's not reminiscent of that. Mm. But I would eat these. These have been my favourite so far. Yeah, I think we'll save the rest of the scores till the end because we've mm. got to do it on the last lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. But that's how it rolls. Okay. Anyway, we're going on to the next chip. Okay, it's on to the second last one. 
Mm -hmm, which is another one of the Smith's ones. Well, there were only the two Smith's ones. So it's the Spag Bowl. Because uh, in in uh, Ocker, you don't say... In Australian English. Yeah, Ocker. People don't understand what Ocker is. <laughs> Google it! They tend dude. to think it's something out of Zelda. Google, yeah, <laughs> the Ocker of Time. The Arena of Time. <laughs> I know, God. Alright, so, Bag Bowl. Spaghetti Bolognese. So Italian potato chips, ostensibly. Probably a bit more Anglo than Italian. Spag Bowl. Alright, so... <laughs> Breathe deep, here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they smell like that artificial tomato. <laughs> yeah, they've got a very tomato y <laughs> smell to them. Um, I'm not getting much of the mince. Usually, spaghetti bolognese okay. <laughs> has mince in it. Yeah. This one's got a or strong. Or garlic or anything. Yeah, it's, it's... I, I don't know if it's got garlic at all in it. I can't really get a garlic from it. No, no, it's it to me just smells like uh, a powdered tomato. Yes, um, I'm not even going to ask how they cut a tomato, but apparently they do. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, there's little green bits. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe that's there's... kind of fake parmesan. Yeah, that's your... Oh, sorry, fake parsley. Your basil or your parsley or something. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually don't mind those ones. Really? I don't think it tastes anything like spaghetti bolognese. But I actually don't mind them. Tastes like fake tomato. Yeah, well, let me have my logo. <laughs> Swish it around and spit it out like a wine taster. It's not bad. Um, really? I can even get a slightly meaty back taste to it. A little bit of umami yeah, happening. Yeah, a meat pie like a four and twenty. Yeah. Mm. Or one of those other bad meat pies. Yeah, I um. <coughs> the, the, mm. Mm. We'll By the way, if people, the want to send us, if people want to send us meat pies to try, <laughs> we will try meat pies as well. I prefer the gourmet versions, not for <laughs> Take anything you can get. Oh, sorry, it's all for free, isn't it? Yeah, take okay. anything you I can. really need to cleanse my palate. Mm. It's gluten-free, though. Mm. So if you're one of those people that doesn't do glutes... Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk about the benefits later. We're just doing the taste at the moment, because okay. we forgot to no do No artificial colours, no artificial flavours, so... I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm sure there's a food scientist out there that knows how this stuff works, but for us... I think the kettle ones are no MSG as well, which is even better, but we will talk yeah. about that when we finally score them, since we stuffed yeah. up our scoring. Okay, last packet, another one Terry picked in the gourmet section, is Chipotle and Manuka honey. Now Manuka honey. Manuka. 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 Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> Open them up, let's have a go at them. So, Chipotle, <laughs> Chipotle, Chipotle, and Manica, 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 Manuka honey. Um, I should hopefully like these for the honey part, and Terry will like them for the Chipotle part. I guess I'm doing the unveiling. Yeah, you're doing the unveiling on that one. Okay, Take a go. big sniff. Yeah. Here we go. It smells exactly like two or three other <laughs> packets that I've opened today. Um, let me have a chip, and you can have a sniff. Thank you. Yeah. It does smell the same as the other packets, doesn't it? It's not yeah, but then the nose again, I, I noticed the shiracha and lime didn't really smell, but you tasted it. It, yeah. it had a taste, you, not a smell. Give us some smelly chips. <laughs> no, don't give us... Like, when I open my um, honey soy... Honey, honey soy and chicken... Which we ha don't have today, yeah. We don't have today. I like those flavors, so please feel free to send those ones through. Um, they really smell... <laughs> Anyway, okay, we are. please. <laughs> mm. I'm waiting for the bad taste. That's bland. I'm not getting much chipotle there and I'm not getting much honey. I'm just getting kind of vague spice. It's like a milder version of the sriracha and wild lime almost. There's not, but there's no. Without the citrus tang. Citrus. Yeah, yeah. There's um. There's a slight burn on my tongue because, as I said, I'm a bit of a pussy with spice. So I got a slight burn, but yeah, they're. Hmm. Yeah, that one. That one's a little bit ordinary. They're not horrible. If they were given to me, I'd eat them. Hmm. Where I would never touch the spag bowl ones again. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. having spag bowl. So Which leads to the question: What's for tea tonight? 
chips, chips probably. Yeah, chips. <laughs> all right, so shall we rate them all now? Or pro we did rate mm. the first ones, which were the mac and cheese, which I gave yep. three out of ten. I'll put the scores up down the bottom here. Mm -hmm. um, um, this one I'm going to give two point eight out of ten. Mm. Really, that low? It's oh, generic. Is it worse than the mac and cheese though? Mac and cheese, at least you could tell it was mac and cheese. This one I can't really tell was sriracha and tomato honey. No, it's chipotle and oh, chipotle, sorry. Manuka honey. Yeah. Chipotle and manuka honey, yeah. Um, I, can't, I can't tell that it is. Um, I'd, bit, I'd, say I'd give them probably about a four because they were definitely better than They the didn't man. burn your tongue away, some of the others did you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you want another one just to double check your score? <laughs> Same score. Okay. Stag bowl, one out of ten. I'm giving it a five and a half. Oh my god. I don't mind that one at all. Well, it's not the best <laughs> chip I've ever eaten. Actually, yep. that one's coming back at me. Ah, see? Maybe you didn't get one with enough flow. Hang on, let's do a bit of a... Yep. Have another one. Yeah, the Chipotle and Matica honey. That's a... I've got a cheap, decent chip that time. Maybe you didn't get one with flavour, you got to give it a bit of a mix. I'm taking that one up to a four. Okay, that's alright. So we'll have to revise that score, a four. One. Five and a half. Five, really? Yeah. There's no argument on who's having those leftovers then. You bet. Cabin Bear and Fig. I need another one of these, Cabin Bear and Fig. I'm not going another <laughs> oh, one. Oh, I'm grateful. You just want a chip. <laughs> Let me do a cleanse. Mm. These I really like. I'm I giving don't. these a six. I'm giving them like pie, 3.14, blah, blah, blah. Really? But these are really good. No artificial colours and flavourings, no added MSG and gluten free. They all say that. No, they, they have MSG, the Swiss ones. Okay, but the kettle buns all say that. Um, because of their sweet, that's what I like about them, and mm. I have a major sweet tooth. So, yeah, six. Okay, the sriracha chili and wild lime. Would you like another one? Hang on. Yeah, we're going to get another one. <coughs> I'm going four and a half. Really? Yeah. Mm. I actually don't mind that. That's low. Actually, I'm going five and a half. Yeah, I'm getting the, I'm getting the back taste now. I'm Whoa. getting the chilies happening here. I forgot these ones were spicy for my... They're not bad. I reckon if I mix those... With this bag bowl. With the other one, with, the, with this bag bowl. <laughs> um, these, to me, were the ones that tasted the most like what they claim to be. So I will give them a six and a half for that, mm -hmm. even though they're not, they're a bit too hot for me. Okay, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I originally said three. What did I say originally? Uh, two to three. Well, I'm, we going, I'm going two. Have another one. I've got another one. Apparently I have to have another one. They smell. Yeah, that's bland. Mm. Slightly. I'll stick to three. Musty smell, yeah. So then, basically, the two new Smiths brands, but Spag Bowl was a hit with you. They're both a bit of a miss for me. Um, but definitely, we'll be eating the camembert and fig ones later. That's my dinner. Okay, well, there we go. So, yeah. I may have a salad with it. I'm going to try to be good. Well done. But so, that's about it. So so that's it. That's uh, the chippy tasting. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and share uh, this and video. Comment. And comment. Uh, especially if you'd like to see us do any other sort of food challenges. Or if you are a company that would like us to taste test for you. <laughs> We're obviously very different uh, with our scores. Um, also, please, I will put a link in the description to Terry's YouTube channel and Aww. Terry's podcast because he's awesome at what he does. He loves movies and he knows his movies. And you don't ever, ever make a bet or a challenge with Terry about movies. You will lose. <laughs> so, yes, you will. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Terry, for coming along. My very much pleasure. My, my very much <laughs> My great pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to keep that one in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you in a fortnight's time. Bye. Bye.